Hello everybody. Chris Wright sent me this picture of a Wacom pen holder and said he was trying to model this and didn't succeed. This of course would be an easy exercise with a mesh fusion but I wanted to see if it can be done properly also with standard modeling. So let's do that. I'm in Modo, in front view, I activate the grid, then zoom in here till we have uh, a grid distance of about 5 mm, F11, snap to grid, then I go to basic, take the pen tool but in lines mode and sketch out a curve about like this and to here. Then I can drop the tool, go out of uh, grid snapping, select this edge or vertices W and move it closer to here till we are about one millimeter distance, like so. Now I can get rid of the grid and go to duplicate radial sweep 24 around Y 360 action center origin and click in the viewport, drop the tools and run mesh cleanup because we still have this parking mode where we get uh, duplicate polygons. So uh, now I press N for a new mesh, go to the front view again and basic take a cylinder, control left click and drag it out to about here like so, yes, and then make it uh, bigger Go back to the original mesh and then go to Mesh Edit, Solid Drill, Stencil, OK. And then Top View, select this quarter in Polygon mode, this one here, Invert the selection and Delete. Then I can select uh, the cutout polygons, delete these as well. And now it's important that we do not uh, disturb the roundness of the cutting object, which means uh, this vertex must go to here. And let's check up here. Yes, that's good, only one vertex. And here I need to bring this one to here. And then we can, we don't need the cutting object. And now I can put in this here, delete this one and bridge doesn't work sometimes I don't know why this does not work so we do them one after the other like so now let's have another look at here um, these edges seem to be quite roundish like these ones and I don't know what this is here but if I look at this side or here it implies that this is straight so I think we are not too far away from that um, Now I put in two edges in here, one here 
and another one marked here. Then C key, cut through here, shift click, cut through here. Do the same over here. Select these polygons, so we only cut through the selected ones. Add single edge to here and another single edge to here. Now C key again to here and shift click, sorry, shift C key again and cut through here. Now we have these two spiders here and remember if we have spiders on critical edges then bevel is our friend and this is what I'm doing now. Paint select everything here. B for bevel. Bevel it in. About 0.7 millimeters. Then I can delete what I'm not needing, like this one and these ones. Delete. Do the same on the inside. Paint select everything. B for bevel and apply. Let's see up here. Do we get the problem? No. It's okay, but just to be on the safe side, I select this vertex, W key, action center element, select this element and move it away a little. That's just, that's just uh, cosmetic. So we can delete this as well. And let's see how this looks. I think we need two more edges in here. Hold C. Uniform. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, quite nice. And here we have a nice round shape as, as we have here or here. And uh, yeah, looks good. Now top view, select these edges, go to vertex, set position 0 on X, select these edges, not these. set position 0 on Z. Now we can duplicate mirror on Z apply and on X apply and we are done. Let's see, hmm, maybe I add some edges here. So B for bevel with a round level of 1. like so. And now I move this one down a bit. P3 to select no, only this polygon. P for bevel again on the red handle. Bevel it in and delete. So we have this roundish look here. And then I can go to the render tab, A key, give it some material, and I think this comes pretty close. That's it. Let's render it. Now give it a little bit of nice reflection and then render it. No, 
there are two things I want to do. I want to make this a bit bigger. And here I want to go up with uh, the render level to 6. And now we can render it. So that's it. I hope it helped and you liked it. Thanks for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.